showing our video here of the um, installation of some disc brakes on a Scout Dana 30 with 9 inch brakes on the front, 9 inch drums. So what you see here is you see the original spindle. This is the original spindle for the drum brakes. This is actually a spindle off a of Dana 30 with disc brakes. This right here diameter is bigger than this. And that's the only retrofit that you have to do for this is you have to go and get a seal, a special seal that fits this. Okay, now both of these seals that fit these have the same outer diameter. Okay, so you can see here that we have a 44287 seal. Okay, and that's this guy. So he fits nicely on the outside here, and I'm videoing, and um, but he doesn't fit this guy because this guy needs a different seal. So what I did is I went and I crossed it. So the guy at the parts store looked at the inner diameter and the outer diameter. He looked at this diameter, and then he looked at the outer diameter of my hub, and he came up with this 2164. 21164 Napa seal. Well, as it turns out, a 21164 Napa is also a 47, I believe it's Z015 National. So that's this seal right here. This seal allows you to use the original spindle and adapt to the hub that you need to for the disc brake. Okay? So from there, what happens is not only do you need a different seal, Okay, you also need a different bearing, okay, because that has a bigger diameter right there. So the bearing you're going to need is an LM102949. LM102949. This seal, let's just take a picture of this guy so that we have it. There's the picture. This is the outer seal. Again, Six lug Dana 30 disc brake, six lug Dana 30 drum brake. Smaller diameter, larger diameter. Now, so we already looked at this disc or this outer or the inner bearing LM 102949, and that has a different race, which is an LM 102910. Okay, so that's to fit this outside. Now the inside uses an A35. A35. So that would be on the on the outside of the bearing. I mean the last one you put in. Inside, larger, outside, same for all internationals. Okay? So, but the inside of this guy, which is the original bearing, is an A35, okay? So we have a different seal, a modified seal, the same bearing, the race is already installed. I don't have that part number for you, okay? And so now we know how to retrofit either a disc brake setup original, a drum brake setup original with original spindles, or you can go to the different spindle setup and you can do that for the, um, the Dana 30 six lug, uh, which comes off of a um, disc brake setup. So either or, you can do that. But the difference is actually, if you look inside this spindle, you can see there that it has needle bearings, okay? And so right here I have a needle bearing kit as well, okay? For that inner bearing, it's an SKB1. This is the disc brake setup. Dana 30 six lug needle bearing. This is the drum brake setup Dana 30 brass bearing. All that is is a brass bushing. That's the difference and that's why that is wider because it has to accommodate the needle bearings on the disc brake setup. From there you put the bearings on so you'll have inner and outer bearings. They're both A35s. Again I don't have the races. They're already installed and um, the disc is ready to go. Then you would put on 
your locking, which slides over here. You would put on your pressure. You would then put on your retainer, or I'm sorry, your retainer. So this is bent over and holds that in place. And then finally you'd put your outer nut on. So that's how the spindle goes back together. Now what I have here, this is called a two and three five, two and three fifths, four by four spindle nut, okay? So what happens is, is this fits around the outside. So it fits around the outside and then inside the hub and then allows you to tighten everything up. So we will do this procedure on the truck. One other thing, the spindles are a little bit longer and um, a little bit thicker. Actually, the backing plate for the uh, disc brakes are thicker. So I've gone with one and a quarter inch studs that will hold this. So one and a quarter inch studs next to the original stud. And don't forget your lock washer.